Hi guys, welcome to the Mythic Boost channel and welcome to more Fortnite Battle Royale. Season 2 is almost done, so I'm sure you guys all want to know about Season 3. Stick around, don't forget to like this video if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to the notifications up here so you don't miss anything, because we're going to tell you all about Season 3 Fortnite Battle Royale, which starts tomorrow. Stay tuned. Hey guys, as I was saying, welcome back to the channel and welcome to more Fortnite update info. If you enjoyed Season 2, Season 3 of the Battle Pass is now upon us. It's a way to get cool skins, cool exclusive merch that you can't get sort of anywhere else really. You can't buy them when they come into the shop. You have to earn them by playing more Fortnite. More games equals more skins equals more stars equals more cool stuff. And Season 3 is set to be even more epic funny enough, than season two was. So what I'm now gonna do is go through absolutely every single thing you guys and girls need to know about what to expect from season three, because it's gonna be out of this world. So basically what you do to earn stuff on the battle pass is do challenges. We had daily challenges before, we've now got weekly challenges which are gonna be interesting. But the basic premise is you play, you unlock tiers, and each tier you unlock you get rewards. Whether that's cool emotes, skins, gliders, V-Bucks as well, this is a cool way to play and get even more into for the Fortnite game than you was before. So I hear you all asking, how do you get hold of this battle pass? Well, it costs V-Bucks to get involved. It cost 1,500 V-Bucks last year, and it's probably gonna cost the same. However, you get even more bang for your buck this time round, and there is other cool ways you can get V-Bucks as well. I'm gonna tell you about it in a different video, so keep an eye out here for that one. And what we're gonna go into now is all the info that you need to know when you eventually start your battle pass. Well, to start off with, as soon as you buy it, you unlock cool stuff. You unlock a cool new skin, which is definitely going to be space-themed. Last time it was sort of knights and medieval. I think this time it's going to be very futuristic, very crazy. I think we're not too far away from seeing some quite unusual alien skins. But we'll see. It's all speculation at the moment. Obviously, you can see from the on-screen shot as well, you can see it's a spaceman outfit. You get a couple of emotes. Uh, you get some other stuff as well. I'm looking at it on my screen as well so yes yeah, so we've got some really 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 cool stuff ready to come in this new season of Fortnite okay so I can hear you guys all asking is there any difference between season 2 and season 3 well the answer is yes quite a massive difference and again if I bang some more information on the screen for you I'm going to talk through that now so in the last year's season two battle pass, we had four exclusive outfits that you just got by owning it. This season, we have six. That's two more exclusive outfits that you can only get through having the battle pass. Also pickaxes, we've got the same amount of pickaxe, the same amount of emotes, the same amount of gliders, back blings. So back blings are, I'm pretty, no, no, sky, don't know, black, Back blings. I've got even. I've got no idea what a back bling is. Back bling, back bling. I don't know. Is that something to do with your logo as you level up? I don't know. But we've got some back blings. We didn't have those in season two. Uh, we've also got skydiving effects trails. So as you dive, I say I'll put the video on here so you can see what's going on. You get some epic like red arrows esque display, cool squirrel tail. It's, it's very cool, and there's five of those we can get as well. Loading screens, eight loading screens. No idea what that is. No idea, again, what that is. They don't really tell us anything about it, but it's a really good spoiler. Loading screens are coming, there's a shed load of them. Uh, banners, 16 banners before, 23 banners yeah. this time, so that's quite cool. Yeah, just a way to customise up the feel of your character a little bit more. We had 16 emoticons last time, we now have 21. We had 46 stuff last time and 76 stuff this time, so all in all, there is more stuff. So don't be worried if you think, oh, how am I ever, ever, ever going to complete my battle pass? It's quite easy. Apparently it's going to take about the same sort of time as it did last time. Basically 75 to 150 hours of gameplay. Um, 
you can obviously buy tiers on the way. There are 150 V-Bucks to buy a tier if you need that little extra boost. But halfway through every tier, you get V-Bucks. And also, there are other ways you can earn V-Bucks as well through the PvE game. And if you want to hear all about that, as I said before, go click on the little notification and there will be a video that can tell you all about that as well. Also, something they've introduced this time round is the Battle Pass Bundle. Basically, you get plus 25 tier boost straight away, which is going to be 2,800 V-Bucks. Apparently, that's a 40% discount off of buying 25 tiers. So if you really want that boost and to get the super epic loot as fast as you can, that's probably a good way to do it. I should imagine a lot of the YouTubers will be smashing out that 25 uh, tier bonus just so they can get all those epic skins. I think we're going to see a lot of that going on in the game. Okay, so rather than having daily challenges, guys, which you got to complete your battle pass and then they came on and disappeared and if you couldn't get on, you couldn't complete them and so on and so forth, it was quite difficult because if you wasn't a daily player of the game, you missed a lot of ways to essentially buff your bas battle pass. They went a massive effort to try and change that this season. I think it's going to be so much better. So what you're going to do is you're going to have weekly challenges. So each week, seven new challenges are going to be released and they are going to stack you can come back and complete them whenever you want even if you buy into the battle pass late you will stack your weekly challenges it's going to be cool just to see exactly what's tear up faster by completing new weekly challenges each week a new set of seven challenges will be unlocked replacing the daily challenges which we've just said about um, you can complete four out of seven weekly challenges to unlock your rewards so choose the challenges that best suit your style so you don't even have to complete all of them you can just pick the ones you like so rather than if you're not playing as a solo player you can go and play the, uh, the squad and duo challenges and if you're a solo player vice versa and it works really well it's a great way to customize and play the game the way you want to play it Okay, we have already been told that if you were a Battle Pass 2 holder and you go ahead and get Battle Pass 3, you will get a 5 tier buff straight out the box. So that's quite cool. We could even see previously roughly where that's going to take us on the chart as they release page 1 of the Season 3 Battle Pass. That, guys, is about it. Season 3 is going to be amazing. It's going to be space-themed. It's going to be futuristic. It's going to be mad. It's going to be bigger and better than before. I really want to hear what you guys think about Season 3, whether you really like the idea of a futuristic space theme, what you think about the trails. I'm a little bit concerned that maybe when you go on a launch pad, you're going to get your trail that you've got selected, which is going to make it so easy to see you. So I hope they've thought about that and they haven't included the trails when you launch pad. Otherwise, no one's going to use trails. Um, anyway, that's it, guys. As I said, please, please comment down below with what you think to Season 3. And if you like this video, please smash a great big like on it. It really, really helps. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. Show your friends if you've turned up and enjoyed it. And don't forget to click the little notification bell so you don't miss anything on the channel. I've been James, this is the Mythic Booster channel, and come back for more Fortnite epic goodness real soon. And we'll see you in Season 3 of the Battle Pass. Ladies and guys.